I will give you what you ask for. I will give you a wise and understanding heart so as no one else has had or ever will have. And I will also give you what you did not ask for, riches and fame. No other king in the world will be compared to you for the rest of your life. Next slide. So, um, God was pleased that Solomon didn't ask for a self-centered things most of us would have asked for. God was so pleased with Solomon's request that he went on to say, moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will, know, you will have no equal among kings. And God, being true to his word, did exactly that. Solomon could have asked for anything, but he asked for wisdom. What we'll find out later as we continue to read about Solomon, what Solomon struggled with was women. Exactly, Brother Jimmy, player, player. Okay? And so, though he might have had great wisdom and may have had riches and great prosperity, he still struggled with women. And not just women, but the wrong women. They told him, don't mess with the women from the other tribes, from the other people. But Jimmy, he wasn't paying attention to it, and he hooked up with all those women. Had lots of women Lots of wives, lots of concubines. He was wise, but he still had issues. And because of those issues, he was not the person he could have been. Make sense, y'all? Questions. Okay, go back to that slide. Um, so when we think about God as Santa Claus, we self-indulgently come up with wish lists to present to him in our prayers and wait with breathless anticipation for those gifts to appear. God loves to give gifts. It brings God ple great pleasure to give us the things that are good for us to have. Now, I need to hang out right there. Notice the good for us to have part. No parents will give their children gifts that aren't good for them. God loves to give us gifts, but not only those that are, but only those that are good and healthy for us to have, not bad and harmful. How much of the stuff we're asking God for is good and healthy over and against bad and harmful? And how much of the stuff that we're asking God for could become an idol. Questions? Everybody on all speak at once. Y'all not asking a lot of questions. What's wrong, Sister Pam? You struggling? prayed and asked God for and didn't get so I, I have not disconnected from it not being bad that I didn't get right I haven't disconnected why I don't know so because you wanted it and because it was a good thing you think God should have granted it to you if he, if, because he, he's the giver of gifts. Yes. But he didn't give you that particular gift. Yes, he did. He did. And can, can I, can I, can I, can we go deep tonight? I'm, I'm still struggling with where is in vitro fertilization in this process? From a biblical standpoint. From, the Bible. From a biblical standpoint. Would, would, would.